what a weird couple of days on the internet. <laughs> I um, cried. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Washed my hair. Slept. Waving the white flag. Um, but I feel like some things need to be said. So I realized now my biggest mistake was not starting that video with almost 15 years ago, I did this thing that I'm not proud of. Um, it doesn't matter when you've done it. It's just the fact that you did it and there was no consequence of you doing this. And then you're saying you're not proud of doing it yet. You made a whole video talking about doing it though, which kind of tells me that you are somewhat proud of doing that. And you shouldn't do, but you might find funny in this context. It was supposed to be like when you're sitting around the holiday dinner table and you tell your mom that when you were in high school, you stole her car and had a rager. Huh? So if you're here because of a headline that you saw with no context whatsoever, I'm not gonna talk a lot about what I did, uh, but I didn't steal anything. I transferred money from checking to savings. He attended his classes the next day. He can't press criminal charges against me. So you're telling me I can just move people's money around and take away their classes and I have no consequence on my actions? Wow, okay, that's a bet. And if he could, he wouldn't. Like, we're good. Oh, so he's a simp. No wonder you didn't get in trouble for this. So he was basically cool with you doing something that's not normal to do as a human being and thought nothing was crazy about that. And just so you know, I didn't say that he's right for cheating in the first video, just so you know that. But you doing this doesn't make you look good either. And there is a reason that people are so mad at Leonardo DiCaprio for dating 19 year olds. And it's because a 19 year old and a 31 year old are fundamentally different human being completely. Wait, did you just deflect off your whole situation by bringing up Leonardo DiCaprio? What does he have to do with this in this situation? If guilt is how you respond when somebody says or does something that bothers you, that lowers your value. And who is in the uproar about that? Just women? Because I don't know no guy that's in the uproar about that. No guy talks about that. Only women talk about that because y'all wish y'all weren't the ones Leonardo DiCaprio was picking. And then y'all shame him because he dates women that are younger than him who can consent to being with him. They're 18 and up, so they can consent to being with him. So what is your point of bringing this up? Because from what I understand, women, especially around my age range, 18, 19, 20, are going to date dudes usually older than them. I know girls who are doing that right now. <laughs> so you saying that really doesn't make no logical sense to say, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio's dating a 19-year-old and he's 30. They have nothing in common. Well, yeah, men and women are different. We look for two different things in each other. Like, what is your point even bringing that up? Um, the, the most common comment I'm getting is, why would you post that on the internet? Valid. <laughs> the rest, men saying that they want to assault me, that they woke up Chris Brown today, um, not as valid. But what I'm most sad about and what I would warn other people against is robbing yourself of your dimensionality on the internet because something can go viral, and if you're not a celebrity who's in the public eye, that could be the only thing that people ever see of you. And that's what my partner, friends, family are saying is, you know, it's so sad that this is happening because this is not, you know, in line with who we know you to be. Yeah, and I bet he's thinking twice right now. He's like, dang, if I mess up once, I'm done. She gonna move my money around or something crazy in that. He probably already changed those passwords and everything <laughs> to his computer and phone right now. After many, many years of knowing you, and the whole reason I came on here was to tell a really nice story, a crazy story about my family and being separated. Buy a dog and die alone. 
Sorry, um, but about, you know, being separated, coming back together, crazy ancestry DNA story, really heartwarming, could give a lot of people hope. And now I might not get to do that because when you post something carelessly, you rob yourself of the opportunity to be seen holistically. So think twice. <laughs>